Hey girls, here we are again. It's Tuesday. <laughs> and so happy Tuesday to you guys um, and girls. <laughs> I'm from the North. I'm a, I'm a Yankee from the North and I'm still saying guys instead of y'all. <laughs> so anyway, when I call the my friends up North and I say y'all because it's a habit too, you know, they go, oh yeah, they just laugh at me. But anyway, so... Um, here I am in uh, Jesus Calling this morning, and I was thinking about how, you know, they call when you wake up in the morning and they call it breakfast and you have breakfast. That means you're breaking your fast. And so I think it's a reason why um, the Lord wants us to wake up in the morning because we've been fasting all night. And you know how important fasting is. Fasting, uh, it, it, it's it's a giving up, you know, it's a just emptying yourself out. And though a lot of times we don't fast during the day, and uh, but if we do, you know, it's a good thing. But also we sort of automatically, God just automatically has us fasting at night. So then when we wake up in the morning, you know, we don't have all this burden of the day uh, inside our spirit and our soul. And so um, anyway, it says August 10th here, it says... Um, Ephesians five fifteen through 16, it says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So the time is right as in the morning. I mean, everybody's different. I understand that. And, you know, some people work nights. And, but um, after you've fasted, after you've had that rest for whatever hours that you do when you wake up, it's sort of like um, you're fresh and new and you don't have the influences of the day. So I got to thinking about what are the influences of the day and how we should uh, be careful. So um, last night I was watching this TV program and all of a sudden I started thinking some bad thoughts. I won't go into what the thoughts were, but they were like sort of greedy and lustful wanting stuff and and that I know I shouldn't have. You know, I don't know, you know how we get into this dark place and I'm thinking and then I got up from the TV turned it off and went upstairs and when I did those thoughts you know when I look back all those thoughts were gone and so I thought about well huh that's funny you know and then I remembered the program I was watching and I thought I wonder and it was Hallmark you know but I thought I wonder if there was you know some references in there I didn't pick up on but it so <clears throat> It's sort of like I, I learned years ago from Bishop Zink. If you listen to him long, long enough, he talks about how he's told taught us about how different objects. There's like red flags in the earth, you know. Um, I don't go into a store that's got a Buddha, you know, or tarot cards or something, you know. I don't go into those places. Um, I don't go into, and I think some of the influences that we have, like skulls on this shirt, that's 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 death, you know. There's just things in uh, in the world that uh, I think God had puts our eyes on that lets us know don't it's red flag red flag don't go near there you know and so I think about like um, have you ever gone into a, somebody's home or something and it, you just really feel uncomfortable you know or I'll, sometimes I'll go room to room and I've been to another room in my house say and then I'll get depressed or something and. And so I got to think like, what's in this room? What am I watching? What am I, you know? And so you got a clean house and you also have to watch where you go. And uh, like, you know, I don't go to an eating place that serves, um, you know, food that I just would not eat. You know what I mean? And so, and then what are you, uh, what are we eating? You know, sometimes our our food is uh, determining our um, our moods, you know? And watching the internet and sometimes you're hanging around with maybe the wrong friends and um and and then sometimes you know here's another thing you know i'll start my day and it'll be great and then all of a sudden like somebody uh, a friend or a co-worker or somebody would just like come out against me and i think well maybe what what did i do something to offend them you gotta you know you just got to have wisdom. And what does it say? So walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So, you know, things that happen during the day, 
you know, we're con it's a battle. We have to fight it off, you know, but we also have to be wise. We have to watch where we go, who we talk to, who we hang with, you know, um, what sort of places that we go into, don't go. You know, I think, <laughs> I remember one time I went to a movie theater and uh, watched, I forget, it was a really bad movie, you know, and I just came out real fearful. And so, and then other times, I remember going to New Lot to my church, and there was a prophet there. And I remember my mind getting, I thought I was getting real prophetic in my mind. I was just thinking of all these things and like I was able to think ahead, you know. But you know what, when I walked out of that church, it was, I remember as soon as I got the parking lot, all those thoughts were gone because it was a spirit of prophecy that was in there. It was a good thing. And so um, I try to go to places and have things in my house that are good things, you know, and I try to be kind and try to eat the right things and you know, watch where I go, watch what kind of stores you go into, you know, watch what kind of places that you go, what sort of movies that you're watching. Anyway, because during the day, you're getting all these influences on you, and sometimes you can't help it, you know, and a lot of times you just can't help it. But at night, you know, God just lays you down, and it's sort of like all that stuff, you know, it's like fasting, you know, just sort of cleans you out, cleans out your soul, cleans out your mind, you know, and then you wake up and you're fresh. And that's why I think I like to come to the Lord in prayer and in my devotional and uh, talking to him, you know, and looking for him early in the morning. And so um, it's, it's, a, it's like fasting. And so anyway, um, we just got to be careful, but uh here it is. I'm looking at Ephesians 5, 15, 16 in my Passion Bible because, you know, the Jesus Calling book is good, and but you, uh, you we need to read our Bible, you know, even though it has a scripture in there. I still go to, the, to my Bible, and I love this Passion Bible. And so I'm going to read again. It says, so be very careful how you live, not being like those with no understanding, but live honorably with true wisdom, for we are living in evil times. Take full advantage of every day as you spend your life for his purposes, and don't live foolishly, for then you will have discernment to fully understand God's will. That's what our goal, that's what our goal should be, and that's what our goal is, is to understand God's will, because, you know, um, what does the Bible say that, you know, the mind of men is foolishness to God? <laughs> And so, what's the point, you know, if we're just relying on our own self? What's the point? We're spinning our wheels, you know. So, unless we seek the will of God and what his mind is and what he would have for us to do, then we're just spinning, you know. We're just wasting time, and, and time is precious because we're not going to be here very long. We're not here on this earth very long. So, I love you guys, and Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see you later. Bye.